My name's Steve Baskoff, and I'm with the Jean and Alexander Hurd Libraries of Vanderbilt University. We're going to start this lesson series on pandas by talking about the simplest pandas data structure series. I would like to mention that this video is a part of a series of lessons called Code Graph. If you found your way to the video without going through the website, you can get to the beginning landing page at vanderbilt.lt slash code graph. Let's start off by talking about what Pandas is. Pandas is a library for Python. It's open source and it's very focused around data analysis. I had to do a little digging to figure out what Pandas means. Apparently it comes from an econometric term called panel data, but mostly it's just a cute name uh, that is very memorable. Pandas is actually built on top of NumPy, and we'll see as we learn a little more of the basics how NumPy data structures form a, an important basis for Pandas data structures. There are a couple of data structures within Pandas, but the most important one is called data frame. And a data frame uh, has many similarities to a spreadsheet which is why they're so popular. And because the data frame is essentially a spreadsheet, it makes it really easy to import data from CSV or Excel files. I also just want to mention uh, an important reference for this topic is Panda for Data Analysis. This is by Wes McKinney, who actually is the author of Pandas. And a, an online version of Pandas is available. Um, there's a free PDF, uh, essentially alternative to the book, and there's a link to this um, at the Pandas website, which is linked on the uh, beginning of the Jupyter Notebook for this lesson. So the standard import statement is very similar to what we saw for NumPy. We say import Pandas as PD. Um, obviously, this is not the only way to import pandas, but this is essentially the universal statement that everybody uses. And if you also use it and use the PD abbreviation, it means your, com your code will be compatible with everyone else's. So I'm going to start off uh, in the Jupyter Notebook by going ahead and executing this cell, and then we'll move on to the next part.